And this is Dick again, Dick Jones, covering his ass, looking out for himself and the corporation with Directive 4. Let's watch. You better take me in. I will. So good. What's the matter, officer? <laughs> little insurance policy called Directive 4. I mean, this is fantastic. Dick Jones has RoboCop. It's kind of a loose end out there that he doesn't control the behavior of. Mm -hmm. So you put in this security measure. Does the security measure make sure that RoboCop acts appropriately and with morals? Absolutely not. He makes sure that it covers his ass and the company. I, uh, I mean, that's good executive decision. It's 100% good. If you mm -hmm. are looking out for the shareholders, which is your fiduciary responsibility, you make sure that your products can't be used against you. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And who's going to do more good? Robocop or OCP who can build newer, better Robocops? That's right. So OCP. you need to protect. Yeah, OCP. So every, it's a win, 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 win. And just everybody. strategic, super smart. Because when you're building a new robot, human type thing, eh, there's going to be some bucks. You don't know how it's going to behave correctly. So you should put some insurances. That's right. For example, uh, Director 4. Yeah, absolutely. Dick I mean, Jones clever. really, he knows how to play the game. The corporate game, make sure the shareholders and himself are looked after. Corporate game and the robotics game. Like he's also tech savvy. Well, that's right. He knew that was possible and got some engineer to do it. Right. You build a law enforcement RoboCop, you think it's just going to be a law enforcement RoboCop, but actually it might turn against you. And Dick mm -hmm. had the foresight to think about that. Mm -hmm.